Hey guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnevi.net, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, we'll be continuing from the uh, previous sections where we have seen uh, how to get started with Angular 2 directives. We have seen some of the basic examples over there and implemented uh, one of the movie collections in that example, right? So here in this case, uh, we are going to delve further into that. In this case, uh, we are going to continue with the same sort of example, but we are going to improvise the code a bit. So uh, if you remember from the last section, um, let me just open this my TS file. So in that file, uh, we were just looping through this particular collection, right? So this was that movies collection when, where we were trying to uh, look through that and uh, just uh, trying to import certain values into this my favorite movie, right? Now, um, here you can see this. Uh, this uh, particular app component TS file has been improvised. So here a couple of things we are going to cover. The very first thing is called nesting of components. So what does it mean? See, as you can see here, this app.component.ts is the primary component which is getting feeded by this index.html. So here this HTML selector is triggering that. So this will look for this main app, right? So this app. Uh, component dot ts over here and uh, this will eventually trigger uh, that main thing is will eventually trigger this app component right so this app component is basically uh, picking up my this app component right so this is the basic uh, flow how it happens in angular 2 scenario right but uh, this bootstrap component which is uh, actually booting my app component is now having certain nested component as well so let's see that uh, so what I am talking about this nested component is like these things like so uh, this nested component again I am importing like how I have imported my movie uh, plane uh, class itself right uh, what I have been utilizing with that constructor values to inject certain uh, values to loop through into that collection right in similar fashion we have click me component key up component and movie list component basically uh, the actual funda over here is I'm trying to give you an example how to read the DOM uh, event and, and how to improvise on that user input. Let's say you want to type something and how to um, catch that piece, like uh, how to capture that uh, particular events when you are typing something. So this is the whole idea around this particular screencast. Now, um, how this nesting is happening. So this is the normal template URL, which you have already seen. Uh, there is certain improvisation over here, like uh, we have left till this markup, right? So this was the part of the collection which we have already covered in the last section, right? And uh, here uh, uh, there are certain things which has been included. Let's say this is the P element, which says, click me event so this click me is an again a selector right which is a uh, uh, part of this click me component dot ts file over here right so this is uh, getting imported into my main app component right so again this uh, component is having this uh, selector is as click me which is referred there in that my primary html page and this template is having again an embedded html markup right say so it says a button is going to be embedded but that button is going to have a dom event of click so that is nothing but a click event handler which html un understands in uh, if i would say in normal plain english right so uh, and this is the name of the event handler on click me and as you can see here this on click me actually emitting this particular message right so the, this dot click message and this dot click message is nothing but of a string type which is again a part of uh, what i said in, in terms of typescript it's just uh, it is just an type inference so since i have assigned this particular in code so it is of type string over here and this is going uh, so as soon as i clicked on this uh, button so it will emit my this message like you are on movie review page so the holistic idea around this particular DOM event handler is like whenever you have to write certain uh, event handler. So the uh, thumb rule is it has to be uh, within brackets, small brackets, which is there like this is the click event handler. So it has to be on the left hand side of this equal sign and uh, under this uh, small uh, brackets. Right. 
and with after this equal sign uh, what happens is you you need to pass on the uh, function name basically uh, which has to be triggered on this click event and subsequently there is a name of that uh, button itself this click me so this is how that entire stuff goes on right so this is uh, nothing but uh, whenever you are tying up or wiring up any dom event handler right or any event handler on that HTML page, this is how it triggered. So this is the basic fund of how to capture that user input. Now let's go to the app component.ts page and let's see what other things are there. Again, uh, there is uh, another component which says of key, key app component. So let's see this TS file over here. So element it is going to be key up of course and template it is going to be again this is the event handler which is key up so on key now the thing is these names on key key up key down key press these are a standard html event handlers so whatever you is your target event handler it has to be on the left side within this uh, small bracket and at, it has to be a standard one it, you cannot uh, do uh, give any uh, custom one which you are writing like as in uh, selector over here otherwise it won't uh, be understood by HTML and it, it won't work so you have to be very much clear on this so you can get this all these commands uh, on this uh, uh, either on Mozilla site itself or on uh, that uh, HTML site where all these event handlers are uh, basically listed the list of event handlers right so it on key when it is just capturing my event what I am doing over here and it is just uh, putting the values over here now let's see what it is doing so this again values is nothing but uh, it is getting initialized as in a string over here so on key this is just capturing this keyboard event so you can see here like all this DOM key location and DOM key event it is also uh, giving me this intelligence nice little, in, nice little intelligence on this guy on this Visual Studio code editor right so this value is getting appended over here as you can see over uh, this plus equals and with this target piece right and the value which I am entering is is then getting appended with this simple pipe sign so uh, this is a little tricky um, a way to capture the uh, HTML element, whatever we are uh, uh, typing over here, or I would say keyboard element, uh, uh, whatever we are typing, any text we are typing, any number we are typing, this is just going to append after pipe sign. Now let's uh, flip over to this TS thing and let's see what is this last uh, movie list component, right? Now if I go over here in my movie list component, let me go over here in this TS file. So this is again uh, having a selector which says movie list, right? And uh, this selector is uh, again taking an input of new movie, right? So this new movie is a variable which expect uh, expects a value inside that, and then it triggers on key up dot enter. This is again this piece is enter and blur, right? So um, there are two events associated with that either you uh, type the inputs and press enter over here or you just do tab over after typing this inputs so this will fire both the things add movie with the value inside and this will simply assign over there right so if you see here this is the um, built-in collection which is the static one uh, with few movies inside and with add movie what it is doing is whatever the string which is getting supplied over here right it is just checking and if there is uh, if this is true then it is just pushing into this array so this is just the in memory collection which i would say over here right so this is the pretty simplest example around uh, how to capture the user inputs in angular 2 way so the basic idea is whatever dom l event handler what you are doing it has to be on the left side of the equal to sign and inside this small uh, brackets then only it can be understood by our html rendered page and on the right hand side it will get followed by the our custom function so now let's go to this html page and let's see this so this gets my uh, this booted my my app 
and once this gets completed then my app component.html i was looking here so this is the click me event which was as part of click me component selector then here my key app selector then here it goes my movie list selector so these selectors are basically triggering my uh, these components so uh, here is that app component.ts so in this case these three uh, selectors are getting triggered by these things these three components right and the nesting of component again it has to be uh, with the name directives and within a square bracket it has to be separated with the class name which is getting imported uh, from those uh, uh, which is getting exported from those components so this is the key rule uh, when you are doing the nesting of components right so uh, let me just build this so I would simply say control shift B and you can see on the bottom left hand it is building the things and it built without any error and without any warning. Now let's go ahead with control 5 to run this app. And with luck we can expect the expected output. All right. So you can see here, right? So this was the previous thing right which we have seen in the earlier screencast now if i simply click on this click me button so it emitted the text okay you are on movie review page so from where this is coming from right so this guy is coming from uh, if you go to this movie.ts right sorry not this movie.ts movie list component dot oh, not this one i think i was in click me component dot TS. okay this one so here is that click message you are on movie review page so this markup is uh, getting replaced over here so this click message right so this is actually getting replaced over there now the next thing is enter any keys right so let's say I am entering anything so this particular thing has got uh, uh, appended with this pipe right so I mean this is the thing which we are entering into that uh, PF component right and uh, where we are trying to append this uh, with that ht um, key strokes with this uh, my uh, pipe sign now in this movie review list collection there are two event handlers one is of that enter and another one is of tab out that means of blur so let's try to enter some movie so i let's say let me enter this godzilla oops sorry godzilla and if i say enter then it uh, entered right and if i simply go ahead and add something say die another day and simply press tab then it also gets entered right so uh, these two events are uh, firing the same uh, custom function but uh, one is on the blur thing and another one is that on enter event so I hope you have enjoyed this video where we have seen like how to capture the user events via Angular 2. In the next screencast, we'll see some more examples around the same. Till then, stay tuned and happy coding.